carrots and hummus. It's where it's at. Got my carrots and hummus shirt and my carrots and hummus hat. Don't worry, don't worry. It's not a sin to dip, 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 dip it in. Go vegan. Hmm. You say you love animals, but also you pay someone to kill them. You say you love animals, but also you take a knife and slice them. Don't let your kids watch it. Why should I start a fan only? Won't I just be lonely? Not that many people like me. But seriously, what is it? What is a fan only? I have no idea what that means. Her face clearly shows that she knows what that means. I'm telling you. Look. She's even what? gonna start laughing. Oh my gosh. She even turned off the duet so I can do it, so I just Three, two, one, sing. Eating animals is natural, that vegan teacher. Humans are naturally omnivorous, that vegan teacher. Share this song, and maybe don't shame people for their diets after all. Three, two, one, sing. Eating animals is wrong, KFC is burning animals is wrong, KFC share this Are you sure about that? Eating hamburgers is the equivalent to supporting slavery. Eating animals is wrong, McDonald's. Hurting animals is wrong, McDonald's. Share this song. Hi everybody! Today I'm going to teach you a new song that I composed. And it goes with the bell. When the bell rings. Here are the words. When the bell rings. Change your name to Kentucky Fried Compassion. KFC is time for you to get a 100% vegan menu. Um, so you guys know how we've been trolling Miss Karen's school? Well, apparently we got the wrong school and she teaches at this one. It's a different campus. But I went into the reviews for this school too and there's still some good comments. Meet. Attention, attention, one, two, three, are you ready? Yippee! Miss Karen, here, let's get ready for English class. Miss Karen, what do you want from McDonald's? <laughs> I love me. Wrong school, guys. I feel sorry for this school. They need a fire, Miss Karen, and I agree. Here's some food for Bella. So I know a lot of you guys feel bad for that vegan teacher, which is understandable, but I really do think she deserves to get fired because first of all, she's racist. Second of all, she disrespects people's religions. And thirdly, she forces her opinions on other people and she doesn't respect them if they don't agree with her and she also forces her dog to be vegan. So this is not a good influence on kids, period. Every time you eat an ice cream cone, you have paid somebody to rape a mother cow 
forced her to be pregnant against her will without consent, taken her baby boys away, killed them for veal, and stolen her milk. Fun around here. I don't know, sometimes we throw shit at Kevin. Who's Kevin? Kevin! Hello everybody! Today we are practicing to ask and answer questions and to do an interview. And I'm here with a colleague who is going to help us with that. We have a bunch of questions to prepare and we're gonna start. So let's see. Number one, what is your name? My name is Oldie Buddy. Okay, thank you. It's nice to see you. Okay, thank you for helping. Nice to see you too. Okay, and okay, what is your dog? I'm a teacher and I teach uh, on grade six. Grade six? That's right. Yeah, and this is your classroom. Yes, this yeah. is my class. Look, everything is so nice. There's colorful things here. There's laughs. Everything is really beautiful in here. All right, I have to look. Oh, I don't get those I know. When is your birthday? My birthday is on June 7. Do you want to see the, the I can't wait to die. Honestly, I cannot wait to die. Uh, you know, I wake up in the morning, I'm disappointed. What the fuck is wrong with the world? You know what's a shitty thing to do? Killing animals for no reason. Calling someone a fucking asshole, not cool. Using swear words as adjectives and verbs and sentences, no problem. Wake the fuck up and be vegan. Saying eating plants is wrong, Karen. Hurting plants is wrong, Karen. Share this song and eat McDonald's from now on. Hello, this is Miss Karen, your English teacher. Today, I'm going to teach you how to use just one Kleenex when you blow your nose so that you won't get your hands dirty and you won't spread your germs to the rest of the class. The first thing you do is you take just one Kleenex. You take it and you fold it in half like that. Then you hold it like this with all your fingers on one side, you see, and nothing there. You take it and you're going to put it in front of your nose like this, and you're going to block one nostril. Then you're going to blow super hard with just the other. And then the reverse. Block this one and blow super hard with that one. You're going to clean it like that. And then, if you need to keep wiping, then you're going to just fold it like that, and you're going to do it again. And then at the end, you have a clean Kleenex because it's nothing. 